Simon Ekba to join Nam the Kano in prison. Hmm. See what Igbo chief demanded after Ekba's arrest that is generating controversies in the southeast region. Simon Ekba, who refers to himself as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in Ezai, has been arrested in Finland on accusations related to terrorist activities. Report from local media indicates that the district court of Pajart Hami has ordered Ekba's detention based on reasonable grounds for suspicion that he has incited criminal acts with the intent to promote terrorism. The court ruling highlights concerns that Ekba has been disseminating separatist propaganda through social media platforms. His alleged activities date back to August 2021 in Light, where he has served as a municipal politician representing Finland National Coalition Party in addition to his political responsibilities. Ekba is known for advocating the establishment of an independent Biafran state in southeastern Nigeria. His role has raised alarms about his influence in promoting violence against both civilians and government authorities in that region. Following his arrest, prominent Igbo leader Mwachie Melu expressed the need for Ekba's extradition to Nigeria. He emphasized that Ekba should not be able to incite violence while enjoying the benefits of life in Finland, asserting that the southeastern region of Nigeria, known as Aligbo, requires healing and peace. The Finland National Bureau of Investigation, NBI, is also pursuing the detention of four additional individuals on related terrorism charges. The investigation is focused on a Finnish citizen of Nigerian origin born in the 1980s, suspected of publicly inciting crimes with terrorist intent. The police have suggested that these individuals were involved in financing terrorism with all five suspects having been apprehended earlier this week. Why Ekba resides in Laiti. Two of the other suspects are based Helsinki, and one does not have a registered address in Finland. This is not Ekba's first encounter with law enforcement. He was previously detained by Finnish police in 2023 on suspicion of front fundraising fraud but was released shortly after. His separatist activism has garnered international attention, particularly his calls for a boycott of Nigerian elections. In a recent social media post, he declared that no elections would be permitted in Biafra territory in 2023. Furthermore, Ekwa has openly advocated for violence, justifying it as a mix of self-defense against what he describes as ongoing attacks by Nigerian government forces and the alleged war crimes. He has stated, I support violence against Nigerian government forces. This is self-defense. Regarding Ekba's affili affiliation with the National Coalition Party, Party Secretary Timo Elo refrained from commenting on whether Simon Ekba is a member citing confidelity okay however he noted that if any party member were suspected of terrorist activities he would likely lead their expulsion from the party hello did mention that evaluations of a pass rule on the public transport commission would be conducted at the local level the unfolding situation continues to raise uh, to raise serious questions about the balance between political expression and incitement to violence in the global content. 
So there is this man, this Igbo, uh, a prominent Igbo man said, he said, now that Simon Ekpa has been arrested, he should be extradited to Nigeria immediately. You can't be inciting violence and destruction of our Igbo while enjoying the economy and the social benefit of Finland. Alibu needs healing and peace. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Please don't forget to give her the thumbs up, share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.